Hey, it's Zach with 247 Hockey, and today we're just going to go over some quick tips on shooting in stride and how to train shooting in stride so you can actually improve that process. Obviously, shooting in stride is great to get a nice quick release, catch the goalie off guard, catch defenders off guard when you're shooting through screens, and it's a really good skill to have. So today we're just going to go over a few tips. So to start off with, before we do a demonstration, uh, the first thing that you want to focus on is you want to limit your stick handling. So you don't want to be stick handling a lot when you're coming down the ice and getting ready to take a shot because it's going to be obvious when you have to cock your wrist for the shot. So you want to limit your stick handling, you just want to carry that puck on your forehand. Two, you want to keep your hands out and away from your body. All right, this is going to allow you to be in a good shooting position. All right, you're not going to have to pull the puck back. You're already going to have your weight over the puck and you're going to be in a good position to be able to shoot. All right, third thing that you want to focus on when you're, when you're training to shoot in stride, and even when you're shooting in stride in the game, all right, you don't want to skate past the puck. You still have to transfer your weight, meaning you don't want to just take quick strides, shoot the puck by flicking your wrist, and then continue to skate. You actually still have to transfer your weight. So it's not what you do after you shoot the puck, it's actually what you do right before you release the puck that is key, all right? So let's just do a quick tutorial here. Okay, the key is timing. Timing is the key, so just continue to practice your timing and your release. Now, you don't want to stick handle, stick handle, stick handle, stick handle, and then get ready to shoot. Alright? Everyone knows that you're going to shoot the puck. Okay, you want to have that puck right at your forehand. You want to have your hands out, away from your body, so now you have your weight over your stick. Okay, and you can get a good quick release when your weight is over your stick. Okay, so your hands are out, you're not stick handling, and you're going to release that puck in stride. Okay, puck's on your forehand, hands are out, skating, skating, and release. Okay, notice how I still transfer my weight. Alright, I don't come here, release, and then keep skating because I'm not getting enough leverage on my stick. Okay, if I release and then I keep skating, I didn't get any leverage, I didn't transfer my weight. Okay, so it doesn't matter what you do after you release the puck. It's what you do before you release the puck. Because once that shot is taken, alright, you've already gotten your quick release, you've already shot in stride, you don't have to keep skating. Puck on the forehand, hands are out, skate, skate. Puck on the forehand, hands are out, skate, skate, release. So it really all is about timing, okay? It's timing that release with your skating stride so you're getting a good weight transfer, allowing you to get weight over the puck, and that's going to allow you to get a good hard shot while you're skating in stride. If you catch yourself just flicking your wrist or not having any power behind your shot, Really focus on getting your hands out and leaning into that shot as you're skating, and that's going to allow you to get more weight over your stick and allow you to get more power on your shot. All right? Those are just some quick tips about shooting in stride and to help you train shooting in stride. If you want a more thorough breakdown of how to shoot in stride, where we go through, go through each part of the process, give you more drills to practice, and also go through other techniques, Go to 247hockeylife.com slash score. And that is our seven-day scoring program where you're going to learn how to score more goals and be a more effective goal scorer after only seven days of training. Obviously, there's going to be more training continuing on after that. But after only seven days, we're going to give you some drills, tips, and techniques that are going to make you a more effective goal scorer, more effective shooter, add accuracy, power, and quickness to your shot in seven days. That's 247hockeylife.com slash score. I'm Zach. Go check it out.